Hi there, it's Ed Moses, and welcome back to Project Mindset. You know, I do a lot of book reviews, and I just finished an awesome book called Bashar, Blueprint for Change. Um, this book has been reprinted quite a few times. Uh, however, I, I've got, uh, I think mine is from 96, I think is this printing. But anyway, it's not the original printing, and uh, they keep updating it every time. Uh, oh, 98, this one's from 98. Uh, they keep updating it because things change, the information changes. And if you don't know who Bashar is, this is a very interesting subject. A lot of people may not even believe this. And, you know, that's cool. It's up to you. I don't, you know, uh, the point of this book is there's a good message. And the message, uh, there's a lot to be learned from the message that this book is instilling. Um, but here, here's, here's who Bashar is. There's a man named Daryl Anka. Daryl Anka uh, is a channel. And Bashar is an extraterrestrial from SSI. And he is uh, channeled through Daryl I know that sounds far-fetched for a lot of people, but that's what this is about. Um, now, to, to further my point here, if to find out more about who Bashar is uh, versus Daryl the point was made that Bashar is actually and possibly Daryl Anka in a future life. And maybe that's how the connection comes to being. But uh, overall, the, real, the, the true message of the book is um, that we as humans have, we have these skills and we have these talents that are instilled inside of us, but we don't know how to use them. And a lot of what this is, it's, it's based on um, like interviews and, and, and um, what do you call it, he does a lot of uh, uh, like shows where he'll sit down and he'll he'll come in and when Daryl channels these people ask a lot of questions he'll explain and try to answer these questions and a lot of it has to do with people and personal development um, changes in their life things that uh, affect this earth as a whole um, just just a lot of things of that nature and that's really what this book is about uh, and he even goes into uh, like spacecrafts and uh, on other planets and, and visitation from other planets that we don't even know is happening as, as we speak. So, you know, again, like I said, I'm not here to convince you that there's extraterrestrial, that's fine, it's just the book I read. And I found it a very fascinating book, you know. The, uh, the point of the book is to get a message through to us that there are things that we can do to change our lives for the better, but we have to do something about it. We, we can't just uh, expect things to get better if we don't do something and that's that's really what what this is about um, some of the questions during this interview uh, through, with Bashar and there's many different interviews it's just it's happening continuously lots of people would come flocking in by tickets to, to, to listen to this and talk to um, Bashar and a lot of them had to do with um, manifesting uh, changes in our life and if you don't know what that is exactly, uh, to manifest something is to create something. It's actually to take something that you can imagine and actually create it, make it into a real thing. Uh, like for instance, let's say you, you want to be rich, or you want a car that's really bad. Well, there's things you can do by imagining that you already have it and so on and so forth. And what this essentially does is it, it causes synchronization in your life and uh, you eventually reach that goal. It can happen slow, it can happen quick, it, it, it just depends upon you know, the person. And um, there's a lot of questions pertaining to that kind of stuff in here. Some of the questions are pertaining to like changes that are going to happen to us as a species over the years. Um, some of the things are uh, like what he was mentioning that right now we are a, 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 a considered a third dimensional uh, uh, species and we're going into what they call a fourth dimensional and essentially what, what, what this is supposed to be stating is at this point we are more of a physical being and we operate as a single person and as an individual and pursue things as an individual um, once you start moving up to the fourth level what's actually happening is you're now pursuing things 
more on a spiritual level, you're almost in a dream state and uh, you're creating your realities and uh, such through a dream state and it's more of a uh, where you're sharing a spiritual uh, uh, um, you're sharing your spiritual situations with with other people that are just like you and that's really what it's, what that question pertains to um, there's a lot of interesting questions in here I can't, I'm not going to go over them all because you may want to get the book if you can find it right now this book is kind of rare oh I forgot to show you the cover there's the cover of it uh, right now the book is kind of rare there isn't anything new out there you have to buy used ones if you can find them and they're kind of expensive I've seen them I've seen them anywhere from 150 bucks to 250 bucks so yeah they're kind of rare but uh, who knows maybe you'll get lucky and find one if you're interested in reading the book uh, but it even goes into like I said like the shape of spacecrafts why it's just the shape it is how they operate how uh, they're driven and like some of the spacecraft they were talking they don't even drive these things you know with physically it's all driven in a mental manner through the uh, pilot and that's that's kind of an amazing thing if you think about it um, you know some other things are how we are being visited right now and uh, we don't even know it things are happening right now but it has to do with and this and this is something that relates to anything in life pretty much it's it's what they call the vibrational state that you're in now if you're a positive person you're always going to be at a higher vibrational state a person that is negative is going to be at a lower vibrational state and the person that's at the higher has a tendency to create or manifest more of what they want in their life in a quicker and faster pace. A person that's negative is probably manifesting bad situations in their life that they don't want and they don't know why it's happening. Um, so well, that's covered in this book too. And uh, so there is a difference. But on that frequency that I'm getting at, people at a higher frequency have a tendency to be more susceptible to actually seeing spacecraft or actually having encounters with what they call the alien beings. So, uh, anyway, that is that's pretty much to sum the book up. You know, without reading it, there's a lot of information here. It, it you know, whether you believe it or not, that's fine. I don't really care. You know, that's cool. Uh, like I said, I just I, I really wanted to review the book and. Uh, there's some really good information in this book that uh, can really help you change your life if you use it correctly and in a positive you know the, the positive messages that uh, you know about how you can you know manifest and create realities and a lot of the lot you, you hear a lot of spiritual leaders talking about this stuff right now like uh, Eckhart Tolle speaks about it quite a bit in his books and on his interviews and talks and stuff like that um, you hear it from Deepak Chopra. So this isn't new stuff. I mean, by God, this book's been out since I think '89 or something like that. But um, so this stuff isn't new. All this really is is just another version or another point of view being expressed on how we can become successful as human beings in anything we want or or we want to create in our lives. You know, I mean, that's really what this is about. So, you know, like I said, whether you believe in uh, space creatures or not, that's, that's fine. That wasn't the point of me giving, you know, this uh, particular book review. The point was, it, it's really for me to tell you that there's some good information in here. I did like the book. I, I found it hard to put down because the way it was written was very interesting to me and it kept me very interested and excited throughout the whole book because it just was, it just seemed, it's just good information. It's pretty neat. And you know, regardless, it, it was it, I enjoyed reading it, and it really excited me. So, uh, my message to you is: uh, follow your highest excitement. That's where that's where your success lies. And um, you know, Project Mindset. When I created it, the whole idea was to find a better way of doing things, and uh, that's what I've been doing: trying to express and um, inspire people to do better for themselves. So how you actually use Project Mindset, well, that's really up to you. Um, that's, you know, it's, you're the individual and you have to decide how that works for you. And I can tell you one thing, it's a better way. So I appreciate you watching the video. I enjoyed making this video. Um, it's, it's a little bizarre for some people, maybe, because of the subject matter. But 
the intention was to point out there's some really good information in this book that can help point you in a better li better way to create a better life for yourself. So uh, again, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.